Hello and welcome back to Mastering Data Visualization with D3.js. In today's video, the first of Section 3, we're going to start looking at some of the sophisticated layout types that D3 provides. In this section, we're going to see how to visualize density using contour plots, how to lay out hierarchical data, how to show relationships using the chord system, and how to fill space using Voronoi diagrams. Today's video is going to be focused on contour plots. Contour plots are a way of showing us the density of points in a two-dimensional space, and we're going to see how to use D3 to automatically generate these contours using a kernel density estimate. We're going to see how to tweak the way in which our contours are drawn, and finally, we're going to see how to change the appearance of our contour plots. Let's dive right in now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to load in some CSV data. And it's some real data from an astrophysical problem that I published a paper on in 2017. We're going to start by building an axis that uses a simple set of linear scales, as well as uh, some nice little axis labels. And then once that's built, we'll be able to plot the data points from within that CSV file. Let's take a look right now. So if we run load CSV here, as you can see, this builds our axis for us. It gives us an X and Y axis with nice little formatted labels, as well as this red curve here that shows a one-to-one -one line. So you can see it minus 11.5 in X and minus 11.5 in Y is where the curve intersects and you can see it shows this one-to-one -one line. What you're looking at is observations of accelerations, in fact in hundreds of galaxies, and we're comparing the accelerations you would expect with no dark matter to what we see in reality. So what we're going to look at here is whether or not these galaxies and the speeds at which they rotate shows evidence for dark matter. So let's plot this simply using some points. So we'll lay down a simple black circle at each data. When we do that, you can see that in fact there is this difference between the red line and the data points. This is evidence for dark matter. And in fact, the distance here can tell us a little bit about how the physics of dark matter works. But you can also see there's a lot of overlap here. These points kind of cover each other up. And if we want to know how dense these points are, we're going to have to come up with a smarter way of plotting this. And for that, the sort of standard way to do things is to use a contour plot. So contour density that D3 provides here is a way of taking X and Y points and smoothing them out using a smoothing kernel, a Gaussian function in other words, in order to generate values in every point in space. Once it's generated those values, it can then lay down lines at equal value points, in other words, isocontours. Let's see what that actually looks like here. So if I, over top of this, lay down a set of contours, you can see what it's done is it's actually showing me where the data increases in density. So here, is the majority of my data points. And as I go outwards here, I decrease the number of data points I see. I can also change how dense, how tight, in other words, these contours are. So right now I have 20. If I knock this up to, let's say 60, increase it by a factor of three, you can see what I get is much wider contours. So bigger bandwidth means wider contours. Smaller bandwidth, so let's knock this down to six. Smaller bandwidth, as you might imagine, will give you narrower contours. So if you want to zoom in on the data and bring these contours tight to the positions of your points, use a small value of bandwidth. If you want to smooth that data out as much as possible, use a large value or use a large value for your bandwidth. You can also 
fill in your contours with colors. So let's change these strokes to none. And let's use one of our colors. And I can load my CSV and apply my contours. And there you can see it's nicely colored them using that Inferno color map. So you can see it's pretty easy to automatically go between data points in an X and Y space, colored contours using D3's contour features with the contour density method.